What's up Giant Slayers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at one of my live roles with my buddy Pete, very talented uh, middleweight purple belt. If you guys wanna learn, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so here we are tying up. My strategy was to be a little bit more defensive out the gate. Uh, Pete was able to pick up a nice single leg there. I'm able to free my knee line, he went for a back trip, uh, kind of scrambled and ended up on top. Here I am in an inverted half guard. Um, posting my right hand out for base, I'm a little bit worried about him uh, bumping me. Uh, over and coming up on top, so I want to uh, try and stay on top. Um, it's kind of uh, using that inverted half position to switch to a little bit of a honey hole. Kind of looking at his legs for a second, uh, just seeing what I got. Um, he did a good job uh, kind of tying me up as well. Um, honestly, guys, my leg lock game is still growing at this point, and I'm more comfortable playing the legs uh, in no gi than I am uh, in the gi. Uh, but here we are battling for top position. Right now I'm trying to keep my head underneath him uh, to establish or maintain good head position. I was able to scramble back up to my feet. Okay, so here we are guys, um, looking to uh, circle away from Pete. Uh, oftentimes my strategy is to circle away from the leg that I want. Uh, he was able to get a good grip there. You guys saw I was able to rip that. Uh, it kind of went in for a fake take down there just to create a reaction. Uh, if Pete sprawled, it would have kind of ended up on top, but he didn't fall for it. So I ended up coming up to an underhook. I think I'm looking to circle away from the leg that I want. So in this case, I want to uh, pick up Pete's right leg. So you guys can see I'm circling counterclockwise here, trying to get him to step towards me. Uh, looking at time it, and there I go. Um, wasn't the strongest shot there, but I was able to get up on the leg. Pete did a really good job uh, kind of wizarding and um, uh, kind of going for a half Uchimata there. I was able to uh, avoid the takedown and kind of scramble. Uh, again, not too successful right at the gate, but again, Pete's really tough on his feet. He outweighs me about 30 pounds. So I'm not trying to take a reckless shot. I really want to do my best job to try and set it up, go for high percentage takedowns. Um, here I am on a little bit more of a low single. He did a good job turning his knee away from me, so I ended up picking it up. Uh, again, pizza, he, he's a strong dude, pretty strong dude. So I ended up going to a back trip right there just to try and get his hips down. Uh, got him down to the mat, but he was able to scramble out nicely. Uh, now he has a good underhook on me. I'm looking to not stay in front of him and looking to scramble up back to my feet. Again, trying to avoid the bottom position here, guys. Um, but this is typically why I like to compete in no gi versus the gi. Um, Drudel uh, isn't my strongest uh, uh, point in my game. I'd much rather wrestle. And it's typically a little bit harder to wrestle when you're wearing the gi just because guys can kind of post you out once they grab their collar. Uh, so here I am here. Uh, kind of switching up my strategy now that we're halfway through the round looking to pull guard. Um, Pete's playing a good top heavy game. He's on two knees right now. You guys can see I'm a little bit tired here um, Yeah, just uh, trying to avoid the guard pass here catch my breath and get things going here. Uh, so right now I have uh, My right hand on his collar looks looks like Pete's trying to set up uh, Possibly a long step pass by holding on to my near side collar um, Right here my strategy again after catching my breath was uh, to try and get underneath Pete so you guys can see I'm kind of grabbing onto his uh, knee right there. I was looking to set up possibly a single leg X or a butterfly guard. Uh, get underneath him. Pete's doing a good job standing up. Uh, nice strong uh, knee cut pass there and he ended up uh, back stepping out of it. Oh, there I was able to duck my head out, kind of scramble back up to the top and turn, uh, scramble back into more of a wrestling situation here. Uh, right there guys, that was a little bit more just Will and uh, me just scrambling and really wanting to play the top there. I was able to get on, on a, a underhook and kind of just run Pete over there. Uh, so takedowns aren't always the prettiest thing, guys. Sometimes people want to have really nice takedowns, which I think we should all strive for. Um, but at times, sometimes it's just about creating a scramble, winning the scramble. So uh, thankfully, again, I was able to win that scramble. Uh, here I am on the top now. Pete's able to get back to a full guard. Uh, it's kind of got my posture broken. Kind of looks like he's going for uh, possibly a shoulder crunch sweep. Um, right here I was able to uh, back out just a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what I was going for guys here. Um, it looks like I'm just maintaining good arm position right now. Try not to put my hands on the ground. Try not to cross his center line. Uh, choosing to hold on to the lapels is often a good option just to keep your hands in a good spot uh, to not get attacked and sometimes I like to stand up uh, when I have these grips as well and pick my opponents back off the ground or, or just look to go for a standing guard break. Uh, Pete's doing a good job stepping on my hip. You guys may have noticed this little technique from 
uh, any of my previous videos, if you watch any of my other live rolls, where uh, when an opponent steps on my hip to try and get an angle, a lot of times I'll kind of do a little hip shift, uh, a la GSP in his old fights, uh, just to take away the bottom person's angle. Uh, but right here I'm going for um, one of my uh, passes that I call Gorilla Pass. I learned this from one of my old instructors. Uh, we kind of stack a guy and um, turned it into a really bad position, but I didn't do it too well there. And Pete was able to almost take my back, end up in the mount, and now I'm in a position where I do not want to be. Pete's a, again, strong, talented purple belt on top of me. Um, I know there's not a whole lot of time left in the round, so I'm just trying to train myself to uh, fight out of a bad spot and not give up. Um, you know, especially when it comes to tournaments, sometimes we can accept a bad position, let the clock wind down and just accept defeat, but just trying to train myself mentally there to just finish strong. Okay, so there you have it guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed another live roll breakdown. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please give it a like. Also be sure to uh, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.